past simple is called the past simple because it talks about the past and it's simple. Right? No. The past simple does not always refer to the past and it's not always simple. And that's a terrible thing. But don't worry because I'll explain it all to you right now. <laughs> oh, don't be. You're the best. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. We can use the past simple for the past. <laughs> yeah, it's most commonly used for telling stories. But it's not that simple because we can also use the present perfect for events in the past. Just remember that the past simple is related to a definite time in the past. <laughs> for example, last night I watched 10 Smash English videos. <laughs> Because I love Smash English. <laughs> oh my god, you no you did not. You followed me home and threw rocks at my window. What is wrong with you? What? No, Monica! Bruce threw the rocks! <laughs> what? Bruce? Why? Oh, excuse me, Duke, that is a lie. They were not rocks. It was a brick, okay? Oh, sorry, Bruce. <laughs> That's just fine then, isn't it? Monica, I was trying to warn you about Duke. He was following you home. Bruce, you idiot, Duke follows me home every night. How is throwing a brick at my window going to help me? Oh, right, I see. So suddenly, I'm the weird one. Oh, my God. Okay, so here, the past simple is used because we understand that this situation occurred last night. We use the past simple when we definitely know exactly when this thing happened. And this can either be explicitly mentioned in the text or in the conversation, or it can be just because, well, the speaker and the listener or the writer and the reader know exactly when it happened. It can be part of the shared knowledge. Yeah. Basically, if you have a definite time in your head for when something happened, and you know that the listener also has a definite time in their head for when this thing happened, then use the past simple. Uh, uh, let's make it even more complicated by introducing the, the present perfect. Um, yeah, Bruce, you are a little bit weird. You threw a brick at my window, you freak. To be fair, Bruce, she does have a point. <laughs> yeah, but Monica, I've never followed you home. Um, sure, but you have followed you to follow me, and that's even weirder. Ew. Well, Bruce, that is pretty freaky behaviour. <laughs> you can't deny that, can you? This is more complicated because you'll notice how we've moved from the past simple to the present perfect. Notice how Monica starts with the past simple. This is because we're referring to Bruce throwing the brick. Monica knows exactly when this happened and Bruce knows exactly when this happened. And it's an isolated and definite event. It has a beginning and an end in the past. We know exactly what's going on and it's not related to the present, so past simple. However, Bruce then switches to the present perfect and this is because he's not talking about the definite past. He's talking about all of the past up until the present. And this indefinite past somehow informs the present. Bruce is using this indefinite past as evidence that, in the present, he is not a freak. So we have the present perfect being used here to talk about an indefinite past that somehow is related to the present. <sighs> this is complicated because you need to think about, is this thing that I'm talking about a definite period in the past with no connection to the present? Or is it indefinite and in some way relevant to the present? Should I tell you that I went to America three years ago? Or should I tell you, yeah, I've been to America. In the second example, it's indefinite because I'm not telling you when, but it's relevant to the present in some way. It somehow informs who I am as a person. Or it's relevant to the conversation. Yeah, I know all about American politics because <laughs> I've been to America. I'm a genius. <laughs> you see the difference? <laughs> Let's look at another example. Oh, for goodness sake. Uh, Duke, 
When did you start following Monica Rome, exactly? Um, hello, yeah, I will take this one. Um, Duke, the little freak, has followed me home every single night for two years. It's great, I love being me. Isn't it great working at Smash English? Wow, the employee perks, they're incredible. Uh, no, Monica, I followed you home every night for two years. Okay. The first example is the present perfect. Monica is using the present perfect because Duke still follows her home. This is indefinite because it's still happening in the present. The second example is the past simple because Duke no longer follows Monica home. The two year period refers to when Duke started following Monica home and the last final time that Duke followed Monica home. So it's a definite time period, those two years in which Duke followed Monica home. But he no longer follows Monica home, and he will not follow Monica home again. And so Duke has decided to use the past simple. As we can see from the previous example, the past simple isn't only used for single events in the past. We also use it for past habits. Now, normally, this is made obvious with an adverbial. In the example, Duke followed Monica home every night for two years, it's obvious that this was a habit because we have every night and for two years. However, in the example, Duke followed Monica home, maybe this only happened once or maybe this was repeated. We don't know without the context. Ooh. In order to avoid this ambiguity and to not use an adverbial, we can just use used to or would to talk about past habits. And if you're thinking, I don't know how to do that. What do you think I am, a genius? Well, don't worry, because you don't have to be a genius. You just have to listen to what I say and do what I tell you to do, because <laughs> that's how you learn languages, <laughs> obviously. Watch that right, right, right there. Yeah, um, I thought maybe before we spoke about social distance, we could talk about something that makes me really happy. <laughs> Donations! <laughs> oh, goodness gracious me, I really do love money. <laughs> There's nothing there because I, I don't have any. <laughs> and that means that I love Nunaromidus, <laughs> Anita Marshman, Sophia, Alessio, Jessica Mendez, Miri, and Frozy Knight. <laughs> oh, it's pretty cold in here, right, Frozy? <laughs> Seriously, thank you guys so much. It's thanks to donations like yours that I can keep this channel going. I really do appreciate it. And if you feel like my videos have helped you prepare or maybe pass your Cambridge exams, then please do consider donating yourself. The link will be in the description and the comment section below. Cheers, bye. <coughs> yep. Toby, um, you wanted to see me. Yes, um, Duke. You can't follow Monica home. All right, what on earth do you think you're doing? What message does that send to our audience? Duke, it's 2023. Actually, Toby, she leaves work at about 2025, not 2023. <laughs> Duke. I'm sorry, don't worry, Toby. I followed Monica home every night for two years. Past simple, remember? Don't you know your grammar? <laughs> <laughs> Here, Duke said, Toby, you wanted to see me. The past simple here is a form of politeness. Duke is using it to create social distance. Oh my god, we're doing that again? Okay. <laughs> no, no, not like that. Let's look at a few more examples. Hello, Monica. <laughs> I wondered whether you wanted to walk home with me tonight. <laughs> no! Oh my god! This is why the past simple is weird and not strictly speaking about the past because we also use it for social distance and to talk about hypothetical, imaginary futures and presents. Most commonly, we do this in the condition clause of a second conditional and this can either refer to the imaginary present or the imaginary future. For example, if I were a pet lizard, I would be really, really happy right now. Seriously, all I want to do is eat insects under a bright lamp. That would be heaven. We also use the past simple with I wish and if only to talk about a desired imaginary present. 
And right now, you're probably thinking, I wish I could learn more about I wish and if only. And if that is your wish, then your wish is my command. There, there's a video all about both of them. We also do this with many other structures like as if and I would rather and I'd prefer and it's time and supposing that, but yeah, I can't talk about all of them now because if I did, this video would be over 20 minutes long. And <laughs> did you see that? I did the, the past simple for the imaginary present thing. Yeah, the, the point is I have a video for all of these structures already and you will find all of the videos in the description and you should watch them now because this video is finished. Yeah. So then, what have we learned today? Ah, following Monica home is a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, we sure had a great time together. So, past simple for events that happened in the past, for the habitual past, for social distance, and for the imaginary present and future. That was so much fun. If you liked the video, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, leave a comment down below, please do. My name is Toby and this was Smash English.